So I have this awesome story um, about this amazing man um, that we, that me and my companion um, helped to get baptized. So before he was baptized, he was giving up coffee. Um, he was a guard. He worked as a guard, and so he always had his coffee to keep him keep himself awake at night and um, you know all the times that he had to work because he worked at a park. And so. Um, me and my companion went up to see how he was doing, and we saw that his someone in his family, it might have been his son or his son-in-law, came and brought him his lunch and brought him a mug with coffee in it. And we look at him, and he's, you know, um, I don't know, deciding what to do about it. And we said, okay, if we go buy you some Pinot Leo, that's like the drink in Nicaragua. Oh, I forgot to talk about Pinot Leo. <laughs> it's this famous drink in Nicaragua that... It's delicious. Anyway, so we said, if we bring you some Pinot Leo, um, will you like throw out that coffee? And so he said yes. So we took his coffee, or I don't remember what happened first. We went to a little, um, it's called a pulperia. They're just like little stores on the side of the road or in people's houses that you just buy stuff. So we bought some Pinot Leo. We come back, and he's holding um, like a thing of juice. And he's looking at us and saying, oh, Hermanas, Dios prove, Dios prove, like God provides. And he said, right after you left, someone came by and like offered me this, this juice, this other drink, you know? And so we were like, oh my gosh, like that's so amazing. And we just thought, you know, it's just a little thing, but it was, we just thought that was so awesome that um, even him showing his faith to give up, you know, that cup of coffee that um, just, Heavenly Father showed that, that that was the right decision and um, so that was a really cool experience and he um, was able to get baptized and he is amazing. So I have this amazing story. So one of my very last converts, his name was Luis Carlos and he was amazing as well um, and me and my sweet little companion um, we would teach him and he was just such a good listener. He was so engaged in all the lessons, but he also had the problem um, with working. He worked on Sundays. And so, you know, in this story, you can kind of see it's like a blessing in disguise because every single Sunday, something would happen to his foot or his leg or he would get injured somehow. But because of that, he wouldn't be able to go to church or wouldn't be able to go to work and he would go to church. <laughs> So the first Sunday, because the people have to go to church three times before they can get baptized, at least. He had some type of job, I think with cars or something. He like spilled oil or some type of acid on his foot and like burned his foot. And so he couldn't go to work, but he came to church with us and it was great. And then the second week, a dog bit him in the foot <laughs> so it's horrible like sad so he came to church with us that Sunday and then the, and then I don't remember what happened the third Sunday but when on the day of his actual baptism he told us like I can't get baptized because he like stepped in acid again or something he like burned the bottom of his foot and and we're like and we're like if you wear like these type of shoes like will it be okay I don't remember what we said but we talked with him and he said, like, okay, I'm going to do it. And he got baptized that day. And he told us after his baptism, he's like, my foot didn't hurt at all when I got baptized. Like, it was great. And, and it was just crazy. Like, we could see his perseverance and how much he was um, just so, you know, he wanted to go to church. He wanted to be baptized. He wanted to do these good things despite, like, all these bad things that were happening to him. And I just, you can definitely tell, like, in that situation, just the things that Satan throws at, at, um, at the people just to stop them from, from progressing. And you can see those people who push forward and push past those, those obstacles and really um, repent and, and do what the Lord wants them to.